Hello, this is James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. Let's begin that timer and take a look at this D-sharp natural minor scale that we have here and why I have it here. So D-sharp natural minor has bunches of sharps, and soon enough we'll talk about keys and how to figure these out, but for now, just take my word for it that D-sharp minor has all the sharps except for B-sharp is the only one that's missing. Everything else is... is uh, a sharp here. So here's our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Now here's the reason that I'm using this scale and why I'm putting this video at this place in the um, in the series is that if we want to turn this into a harmonic minor scale, we have a little bit of a problem. Remember, in harmonic minor, we turned the seventh scale degree into a leading tone by raising it to make it a half step away from the first scale degree. So what we have here is a seventh scale degree, which is C sharp, and then D sharp is the first scale degree. Those are a whole step away from each other. You can see that there from the C sharp to the D sharp. So how do we raise a sharp? Sharp is already raised, right? So here's where we're gonna add two more accidentals. These are them. So the first one, it looks like a letter X. When you see it printed, it's a little bit more fancy than that. It kind of has these little things here. But when we're handwriting, you can just write the letter X. And what that symbol symbolizes is a double sharp. And then see these two flats that are sort of conjoined? This is a double flat. Yes, they exist. I almost put fat, double flat. So we have a double sharp and a double flat. Now, in order to turn this into a harmonic minor scale, we need to raise a C sharp, but still maintain that C letter. And the way to do that is by turning that into a double sharp. These do exist, although they're rare, the C double sharp. And what's kind of strange when you're first uh, learning this concept, if we take a look at where C double sharp is, here's C, here's C sharp. C double sharp is in the same spot on the piano keyboard as D is. So why do we have the distinguishment between these two different pitches? That's because C double sharp has a totally different function, plays a different role than a D usually does. So we do need to make that distinction between the two. We won't see double flats for quite a while, but we do need to recognize that they do exist. Triple flats, triple sharps do not exist. There's no reason for them, so there's never gonna be an instance where we're gonna run across them. But we will from time to time see double sharps when constructing scales. This is now a D sharp harmonic scale, which has that C double sharp. So I, I figured I'd throw this video in here at this point, because when you're practicing the construction of these scales, you will run across from time to time these double accidentals. Rarely will you see the double flat, but uh, you'll see the double sharp some. The double flat will come when we get to some more complicated uh, keys and chords. And that's it. Double sharps, double flats. Thanks.